Good morning, music students. Welcome to my house. This is Found Sounds, lesson number two. And we are outside on my back porch today, out in the, it's not as sunny as yesterday. It's a little bit chilly today, but we are outside because we're going to be making just a little bit more noise than usual. And so I decided to spare my family and come on outside and do our lesson today. We are also joined by Mr. Toby today, which I will try to get a picture of him, but he is here keeping guard for me today. So if you see little Toby walk through the scene, he's here to keep me safe. <laughs> At least that's what he thinks. So we are going to actually start our found sound lesson today with something that is not a found sound. It is actually a music instrument. This musical instrument looks like this, and I bet almost all of you have seen this one before. This is actually what we call a cornet. Now you might have said trumpet, and that is okay. Trumpets and cornets look and sound almost exactly alike. The difference between a trumpet and a cornet is that a cornet's just a little bit smaller. It's the way that it, the tubes are made to make it up that makes it just a little bit smaller um, than the trumpet. So I might accidentally call this a trumpet and that's okay. I just, I'm so used to having a trumpet and not a cornet. But if you look at our trumpet, we have lots of different things on here that you guys have learned about. We have the bell where the sound comes out. We have the valves. Our cornet here has three valves, just like the trumpet. We have two water keys and water keys are what helps our um, condensation from when we blow in here come out and keeps it clean. We have tuning slides and we have a lead pipe, but there is something missing here that is very, very important. And that is our mouthpiece. Our mouthpiece here is a silver mouthpiece and it kind of looks like a bell or some of my kids at school says it looks like a plunger. Either way is fine, but it is a device here that will help us put sound into our instrument. Now, when I blow into my mouthpiece hole without the mouthpiece, nothing comes out. Nothing at all. And that is because there is no mouthpiece in there. If I put the mouthpiece in and blow into it, guess what? Still nothing comes out. That's because there is no vibration. We have to have a vibration in order to make sound come out of my trumpet. In order to make a vibration in here, I have to make a vibration right here. And I go like this. So I'm gonna put my lips together. And please do not do this at home. <laughs> if you do, go into the restroom or cover your mouth. We do not want any kind of spray coming out of your mouth. But we're gonna buzz our lips by going just like that. Shall we try it one more time? Do I look silly? Maybe just a little bit. So when I do that into here, it makes a noise. Maybe we should see that in slow motion. That was a little scary. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my slow motion video of my lips buzzing. So we're going to play just a little tune for you so you can hear the trumpet play. And as always, I'm gonna play Mary Had a Little Lamb. Feel free to sing along. easy and it uses paper 
which is, makes all sorts of sounds and a pair of scissors and that's it. And what I'm going to do is I am going to cut a strip of paper about an inch wide. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna do it, you can do it the length of the paper, you can do it the width of the paper, but you need to have it pretty long. So after that, I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half. There we go. It's now folded in half and I'm gonna kind of really get that fold. Then after that, I'm going to take one of the open ends right here and I'm going to bend it and fold it and match it with the folded end when I fold it in half, okay? So again, I'm taking the open end, see this? There's my open end and I'm folding it back so it touches this fold. And then I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this side, just like that. Okay, so now I have this tiny piece of paper and when I open it up, you're going to see that I have something that looks like the letter T. Now this is our found sound instrument made out of a piece of paper that I have cut. And all you have to do, this is the fun part. I'm gonna get just a little tiny bit closer. Okay. All you have to do is you have to put your lips right here and blow. Now. It's very important that you don't hold this part really hard because you need this part to vibrate. This is going to vibrate. And um, you're going to blow. Whoops! Might be easier if you hold these two pieces here and blow. Oh no! Ah, there went! Ooh, that's not a fun noise. So on the mouthpiece, part of our cornet slash trumpet. My lips do the vibrating. Uh, but on my paper mouthpiece, it's this part of the paper. <laughs> Maybe I should do a slow motion version of that too. So when you do this project, it is very important that you make sure you do it somewhere where you're not driving your parents crazy. Okay, so in your bedroom or outside is the best place. And remember, if they ask you to stop, you need to stop. That is the number one rule with our magic musical instruments we're making this week. If your parents ask you to stop, you need to stop. So I hope you have fun with your magic paper mouthpiece. And next time I see you, we are going to be making something special with a straw. Yes. So if you happen to have a straw at home, you can do this project with us. If you don't, then it'll be a fun thing to watch. <laughs> there are a few ways for you to access the Heading Music Classroom videos. The first way is through Facebook. But if you would rather bypass Facebook altogether, you may go directly to YouTube and look up Amelia Rakestraw with no space. Here I have posted all of my videos. And if you hit the subscribe button and the notification button, every time I post a video, it will let you know. I am also going to be posting to the live feed, which shows up on the heading grade school page and it also shows up on the app. If you go and push live feed under heading grade school, it can take you there right to YouTube to my page. I have also added a Google Classroom. My Google Classroom will have everything posted on it that I also post on Facebook. And the Google Classroom code is 43B7MOQ. 
I want to thank you very much for joining me today. Toby and I hope that you will join us again tomorrow.